everyone, it's Holly, the Twister Sister. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. This week we are doing a fast moving hedgehog. Uh, a certain particular movie just came out. And so I wanna make sure that you guys are prepared to be able to make this character. So let's get to it. Let's be honest, first things first, this is not typically a line work design because we're gonna be using five balloons to make this guy. We've got two blue 260s, a tan or blush colored red and white. And then I also have some little black pieces for like nose and eyes and things like that. So not exactly something I would do if I was in a rushed, fast moving situation, but this is a great one for parties or restaurants or just to have fun sitting around with your family and friends. This is a combination of like my cat and my skunk and my uh, Charlie Brown. <laughs> so I'm um, kind of putting a whole bunch of different designs together to create this guy tonight. So it should be a fun one. All right, so I've got my blue here and then I'm also gonna take my blush. And I'm actually gonna start with the blush and we're gonna do three loops to start this guy off with. And you guys know how I am. I don't like my proportions on things for anything to be too big. So keep these loops um, as nice and tight and small as you can. And then just take that knot and roll your nozzle through the middle of that loop so it doesn't come undone. And do two more loops about the same size as that one in your blush colored balloon. Okay, so we'll have three loops. Spread them out flat like that so you've got them nice and flat on top. Once you've got your three loops here, we're gonna take our blue balloon. I am using a Fashion Blue from Batalitex. I think it's a good color for this character and I've left about a two to three inch tail on this one. We're gonna just take the nozzle of this right into our three loops to get it started in there, get it locked in. Now we're gonna come up for his face about three inches and make a twist. And then we're gonna do another loop. This is gonna be for his ear. So kind of give you an idea of how big you should make this loop. And we're gonna do another one right beside there, the same size. All right, we're gonna take our blue balloon back down into our blush loops and just twist it back down into all of those. Okay, so you should have your blue balloon and the rest of your blush balloon coming out underneath his face, ready to make his body. To make his body, we're gonna go kind of with the Charlie Brown body that I taught a few weeks back. And we're gonna start with a little triangle thing for the arms. So just come down about an inch. He doesn't have really super long arms, so just about that far. And then we're gonna do a little bubble, a little spacer bubble. And then another bubble the same size as this one up here, okay? So we've got these three bubbles. We're gonna twist that back into the neck or the head. So you've got this, all right? Now we're gonna sandwich that in between our remaining balloons. So we'll have the blush in front and the rest of the blue in the back. And before we twist those together though, we need to go ahead and attach his hands so that we don't have to cut stuff off and reattach things. We can just do it all with one balloon application. <laughs> so we're gonna take our white 260. I've just inflated it a couple of pumps here and I'm gonna start off with a small round bubble. I'm gonna turn that into a pinch twist and then we're gonna do a small loop. He's not gonna have giant hands, all right? We're gonna take this pinch twist and we're going to lock it into one of the twists on either side of our small blue spacer bubble. So just take the pinch twist in and around to get your white balloon locked on to that little spacer bubble. You can see that? And then you're gonna take your white balloon, kind of pull it across so you can kind of measure where it's gonna hit the other side of that spacer bubble. Make another little bubble here. And then, once you've got that, we're gonna do another loop and pinch twist. 
So there's our little loop. Here's our little pinch twist. Okay, you guys can see all of that. We're gonna take this pinch twist now and we're gonna lock it into the other side where our blue space bubble is. Okay, so just wrap the pinch twist around there. Now you're gonna have his arms attached and let me get the rest of this white out of the way. You can kind of see what we're doing better. So I'm gonna wrap that up around a few balloons to secure it. Let me get this out of the way so you can see what we've done. So we have this little triangle thing here. We've got this little white pinch twist for his gloves with the loops attached on either side of that little blue triangle thing that we made. And now when you bring the rest of your blue balloon down with your blush balloon in the front and the blue and the black, the back, and we're gonna kind of sandwich all of that in between these two balloons. And that's gonna hide that middle stuff, the spacer bubble and all that. It's just gonna look like his arms are right down beside his side of his body. And that's really cute, <laughs> okay? So once you get them right below those arms or the hands, you can go ahead and twist these two guys together. And then we're gonna take the remaining blue balloon and we're just gonna go up into the head and then back down on the other side of the body to sort of fill out his back. So I'm gonna twist this, wrap it up under into the head, and then we're gonna come right back down the other side and wrap it into the remaining blush balloon. So that, he's got three bubbles across his back now, and you can kind of see what he's looking like from the front so far. Looking pretty cute. Uh, we can finish off this part by adding the red shoes. So I'm gonna get a red 260 and we're gonna do some really simple shoes, which are just gonna be a small round bubble, turn that into a pinch twist, and then do two nice sized loops for his feet. And you can get rid of the rest. And then just secure that by wrapping it around. And then we're just going to combine this into the bottom. Just bring those feet around. And we'll lock, switch places with them to lock them in place. Let me just arrange everything so you can see what we've got now. So you should have something like this now. And this is our remaining blush balloon. He's got his little tiny tail sticking out the back and his shoes are on. We don't need the rest of this blush anymore. We're done with it. So you can get that out of the way. And I can really start to see this guy coming together. If you're in a super hurried or rushed event, you could probably get away with doing this as the bulk of your twisting and just add a nose and draw the eyes on. And that might pass as this character, but we're going to do a few more things. So you should have the white scrap that we had left over from doing his gloves. And I'm just gonna put some air in here. And I'm not even gonna tie this off. I'm just gonna hold on to it as I grab my Sonic and we're just gonna place this right into his little, into his face here, up in the center of all his cheeks and everything. Okay, so to get that attached, I'm gonna squeeze it out a little bit. We're gonna just bring it up into the ears, twist it around into the ears, squeeze it, and then bring it back down into the nose and wrap it into the neck or the base of the head. Okay, so now he's got his eyes attached. You're done with the white, so you can get rid of the rest of that now and secure that. And I'm gonna straighten everything up so you can see where we're at now. Dun dun dun, looking better. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and add the nose now so you can really get an idea of what we have done. So I just have a little black 260 that I've twisted a small ball off of and tied it. And I'm just gonna take the nozzle of that down through the middle of this front loop and then just pull it around the back, wrap it around the cheek to secure it. And that's gonna be his cute little nose. Now for me, it's the nose brings all the whole entire design together. And so I can really see the character once I've added that nose. This looks pretty good, but we've got one more balloon that's really going to finalize this design and finish it off. 
if you need to finish it at this point for time, I think that this could pass pretty well as the character that we're going for. But if you have an extra minute or two, grab another blue and we'll finish this guy off. So I'm going to take this blue and just for um, make it easier on myself, I'm going to twist it into the back of the head here. Get that nozzle wrapped around those cheeks to get it started. But then I'm going to walk that balloon over to the front. So it's going to be sticking out from in between the in front of the two eyes. Okay, we're going to squeeze and pull and stretch that balloon up. So we're going up in between the two eyes. So we're pulling and stretching and lengthening out that balloon. And then just tuck it in between those eyes so you can't really even see it. All right, so we squeezed it, pulled it, stretched it. We're tucking it up in between the eyes. Once you've got your balloon kind of pulled up and squished up, you get it up towards the top of the eyes. You can go ahead and twist off a little bubble and then tuck the rest of your blue balloon butt back behind the ears. Okay, so you kind of get that nice slanted center part of his face. And we'll make him look a little bit friendlier when we add the eyes. Right now he looks angry, right? But that's really cool how we can add that facial expression with our balloons. Um, so get the blue, the rest of your blue balloon is going to be coming back up here behind the ears. Once you get it behind the ears, you're going to do a loop. And we're going to start working on his sort of a mohawk, okay? So we've got one loop there. We're going to come down, do a little spacer bubble, and then do another loop. Come down, do a spacer bubble, do another loop. And we're going to do this as many times as we need to to fill in the back of his head. Usually you're going to need about three to four loops and spacer bubbles. So I'm just going to see if that's enough. And I think that's going to do it to cover the back of his head. So I'm going to let out the rest of the air in here. So I just have a small little bit of air left in here and then I'm going to take my tail of my balloon and wrap it around the base of the head. Now I'm going to tuck it into the body to hide it. We're going to kind of straighten up his mohawk a little bit here so you can see all of his spiky mohawkiness. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> and that's what it looks like from the front. And straighten it all out. You can kind of get a good idea of what that's going to look like. Okay, so at this point you could draw the eyes on or we can add some balloon eyes, which is what I really like to do on this design. I mean, if you're going to take the time to do all this, you might as well go all out and give them some balloon eyes as well. So I've got a black 260 here that I've inflated just enough to put two small bubbles in. I'm going to twist this one in half to make our two. Okay, and then I'm going to twist, 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 twist to get a little bit of uninflated twisted up balloon in between those two bubbles. I'm going to take the end of my balloon and that twisted part, I'm going to bring them together and do a double knot. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other bubble here. Take the rest of my balloon tail and the, the middle part here that's untwisted and we're gonna do a double knot. Just bring both ends together. So that will give you two little balloon eyes with some uninflated balloon space in between them. So you can pull them apart, stretch them, and really lay them out exactly where you want them. I'm gonna cut off all the rest of this extra stuff that we don't need. So we just have our two balls attached with an uninflated balloon bit in the center. We're going to take Sonic and we're going to wedge our eyes. So we're going to take one underneath this blue part in the center of his face. Okay, and then we're going to bring both of them down low and close to the nose as much as possible. All right, and then take a second to line everything up and you should have something that looks like this. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so it looks super fast. <laughs> All right. Now, if you do the balloon eyes, you don't really need to draw anything on here. I think this is like 
a nice standalone piece of artwork that doesn't need any Sharpie on it. However, if you want to draw a mouth, and you might, um, I think that would be a fine thing to add to this guy. So we're just going to draw a little half smile. Kind of like a, he's kind of like a smirk. He's smirking because he's so fast you can't catch him. <laughs> All right, so that is my super fast hedgehog design. <laughs> I hope you guys like this one. It's a little bit more advanced, definitely. This is one that I taught at my um, Capital Convention workshop, which was only taught for workshop attendees. So this is definitely a more advanced tutorial, so don't be upset or frustrated if you don't get this design perfect on the first try. I definitely didn't when I was coming up with it. So don't expect perfection on your first try either. Um, this is one that would definitely take a little bit of practice and I would bust this out for a birthday boy or girl as a special balloon for them or if you really wanted to impress in a restaurant or at a low key, more chill party maybe. <laughs> Um, but that is my take on this character. I hope that you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comments if you did like the video. You can also just thumbs up this video and that lets me know as well. If you want to see more balloon tutorials like this, make sure that you're subscribed and that you ring the bell to get notified every time I put out a new video, which is every Tuesday for Tutorial Tuesday. So this is your design of the week. Feel free to post pictures of your versions, your takes on this guy over in our free Facebook group. We'll be happy to see what you guys do with this this week, and I'll be looking for your photos over there. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in one of these other videos we've got for you to check out. Lots of good stuff over there. Until then, happy twisting, and have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye.